So we're looking at sampling, okay? And the question comes, what is a sampler? Okay, because we've used the term sample when we were talking about digital audio encoding, yes? Okay, when we talked about it being a recorded value of one specific amplitude at one moment in time, okay? Here we're using the sample, the word sample in a different way. We're talking about a short snippet of sound from an original source, okay? And so a sampler, when I say, what is a sampler? Anybody know what, a, can I give us an answer to that? Maybe a sentence or two? Yeah. Alex? Of of music. Yeah, a machine that can actually recall and play back little snippets of sound, okay? Um, it can be in hardware form, okay? Uh, Akai is a big name manufacturer associated with sampling, okay, and samplers, okay? Uh, they make samplers and drum machines, okay? Uh, and they're one of the first ones that were to put on market CD quality samplers so that you could actually... Uh, pull audio from a CD and play it back via the sampler at the same sound quality that it was in, in the original format, okay? So we're looking at project four and you want to go in there and download a sample. So to give you a thumbnail sketch of what this project is, okay? You're going to build two sampler instruments. I'm going to show you how to do that before, you, before the end of class, how to get started on that. We'll talk about it some more on Thursday. Okay, some, some of my samples are playing, good. Uh, you want to download that sample if you're, if you're in today's date. Not, don't just play it in the browser. Uh, Right-click on it and download it to the desktop, okay? But thumbnail sketch of our unit for, unit 4 project, okay? You need to build two sampler instruments. One built on a voice sample, the other one built on a percussion sample, okay? This is the one project where I'm not going to pay attention to citing your sources and Creative Commons and copywriting. I'm turning a blind eye to those sorts of things, okay? So if you want to do something illegal, this is your one chance in my class to do something illegal with regards to copyright, okay? Uh, get it out of your system, okay? Because from here on out, I'm going to ask you, where's your source? What's your Creative Commons? That sort of stuff, okay? <clears throat> You're going to then use MIDI to develop a one to two minute composition with those two sampler instruments. Again, one based on the voice, one based on percussion samples, okay? Um, you can use them multiple times. You can actually have more than one if you want, more than one sample built on off of them. Uh, but I want there to be at least voice samples that you're working with and percussion samples that you're working with so that you're not working with just one or the other, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that. This is going to be due Wednesday, April 10th. Where is that in relationship to the calendar? Anybody from my calendar folks? April 10th is when? That's a week, yes, a week from tomorrow, okay? So as I mentioned, fast turnaround on this project, okay? Uh, but we're building on your MIDI skills in logic, okay? That's the good news. So. If you keep going in this regard, we're going to be using logic again, okay? Um, your homework for Thursday, okay, let me get this out of the way before we get started. Uh, you need to read Audio Cultures 23 and 24, okay? So the, both of those have to do with Plunder Phonics. One of them is actually by John Oswald talking about his, his kind of artistic prerogative uh, with regard to plug, Plunder Phonics, okay? Read Audio Culture 23 and 24 before Thursday, okay? Uh, and you need to choose one voice and one percussive audio sample prior to Thursday because you want to be in Thursday actually building your audio instruments that you're going to use in this project. Otherwise, you're going to get behind and not get it done this weekend, okay? Yeah. And that can be anything. It can be anything, okay? What I'm going to do Thursday in class, I'm going to t uh, I, I, I was kind of bad about this, no pun intended, based on our uh, prior audio example, but I was kind of bad about this uh, last time I asked you to bring in an audio sample and I had people email me after the fact. What I'm going to do in class on Thursday, I'm going to go around with my headphones and just confirm that everybody has two audio samples, one voice-based, one percussion-based, that they're going to be using in their project, okay? Um, Make sense? Yeah. Some of it could be one or two words. And some of it, could be it can be as long as you want, but just keep in mind, the longer the audio sample, the more you got to work through to build your sampler. Okay? So it's probably better to use a couple of short ones than it is one really long one, okay? Uh, but one voice and one percussive audio sample for Thursday in class, okay? So in class, you'll be expected to have that. You'll also be expected to have read this, okay? So let's get into actually using Logic, okay? The, the sample instrument in Logic is called the EXS sampler, okay? 